Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Edwina and this is Percy Color Closet where we love all things colorful. In today's video, I wanted to show you guys all of the different boots that I have because as you guys know, when you're putting looks together, the accessories matter. They totally bring the look together so you want to have different shoes that will complement different looks so therefore i'm going to show you guys all of the boots and booties in my collection what different colors i have what i'm intending to add into my wardrobe and where you can shop the most affordable like good quality boots and booties so without any further ado let's get into today's video so the most recent pair i have are these they are a pair of chelsea boots that have a pearl detail they are by carl lagerfeld um, they were gifted to me but i believe they were from macy's so if these are still available i'll be sure to link them below i did see a few different options online that have pearl details on them so if you're looking for like a booty that has more of a feminine touch this is really great. They are super comfortable. And I love the fact that you can use them like to pair with dresses, right? I recently shared a video on how to style combat boots. That video shows you so many different ways where you could just use feminine pieces, like think of skirts and dresses and jumpsuits and how you can pair them with more like chunky boots to make them a little more edgy. So, if you have not seen that video, I definitely recommend watching it. I'll be sure to link it here in the cards. But these style of boots, I definitely think that's something that if you're living somewhere that has really cold, you know, winters and things, this is a good boot to have. It's super comfortable, something that you could wear when you're running errands over the weekend and you would still be comfortable, but you still make a statement because I just love the feminine details of the pearls and things. So this is your, like your typical Chelsea boot, but with the chunky heel, this one actually has kind of a bit of a higher heel, which I like because I like to be a little high up <laughs> off the ground. So yeah, I really recommend these. The quality seems to be really great. I mean, I just got them, so it's hard to tell about the longevity, but all in all, I really like the style and I recommend this style of boots. I'll be sure to link a few options below. The second pair is a pair of booties that I've had for years. These are by Steve Madden and what drew me to them was not only the color but also the gold the gold detail on the heel. It really looks like a caged in, you know, heel. I as you can tell, they're a little dirty because I have worn them into the ground. They are super comfortable. I do remember them not being that comfortable when I first got them, but after wearing them for a while, they definitely got you know super like broken in so i absolutely love them and this is another pair that i love wearing with skinny jeans this works great like if you're going somewhere where you don't necessarily want to wear heels but you don't want to wear like ballerina flats either i think that this is great because it has a little heel but it's low enough that it's still super comfortable and the color this is a great neutral that would go with all of your colorful pieces if you're into color like me so i really like this style of boots so if you are considering like booties that you can wear with dresses and things this is another style that i recommend it it's comfortable it comes like up to your ankle and it has a zipper detail so and they're really old so i'm not sure that I can find this exact pair but i'll definitely be sure to look for some that has like a bit of detail like it really makes a difference when you have like accents like this because i feel like a lot of boots that you get they're like plain there's like no details i'm always looking for something whether it's the pearl or a zipper accents or some studs or something like i love when your shoes have you know personality it could still be classic and you know stand the test of time but I just like when they have a little more detail to, you know, make your outfit more interesting. Boot number three is another pair from Steve Madden. These are red booties that have like a patent leather detail up front, but there's 
like this elasticated detail in the back now i love these boots because i feel like if you're going out and you're wearing something really plain this is definitely one of those statement type of boots that can elevate your look and just make it stand out all the way my only issue with this style of boots is the fact that like i think they call these like sock booties the problem with them is that they don't have any zippers right so you kind of have to literally like push your foot in and i was doing that when wearing this one time and i actually ended up ripping the back of it which i need to take to a cobbler to get it fixed but other than that um when you do wear them they are comfortable well comfortable if you are good with heels which i love but i know that's not everyone's cup of tea they do have like the sock booty style like in flatter you know in flat boots as well so if you're into that then you can find those options as well but all in all i really like these boots and i just think that it's great to have you know the casual boots that you can wear to work and then have something like that that when you're going to like a holiday party or you know you're wearing like a, a dress or you know even like even jeans like if you're wearing like jeans and a top and a blazer and then you want to have you know a pop of color this style of boots is definitely something that i would recommend so this next one is literally the exact same pair that i showed in red it always pays off to have a different colors of the things that you know already work into your wardrobe so again these are from steve madden the heel height is not super high it's your standard heel height i would say i don't know three and a half four inches yeah love the patent leather detail in the front love the elasticated detail in the back i just wish that they made them with zippers but otherwise they're great and i've worn them into the ground and need to go <laughs> to the cobbler to get um the heel tab added back in but yeah, the patent leather makes them look really dressy so i'll be sure to find some similar like patent leather type of boots for you guys and i will link all of the available options below steve madden generally speaking makes really good quality like relatively affordable boots so definitely consider their website when shopping for boots the steve madden boots are usually in the 100 to i would say maybe 200 like price range but what i like to do is get them at at macy's for whatever reason macy's always has a sale and they always have you know some boots in a clearance clearance section so if you love steve madden products you can definitely find them at macy's so once you find the name of the item that you really like, I would say to Google it because they will come up at like Nordstrom, DSW, Macy's and all of these other stores. And then you can even Amazon. There's a cognac pair that I'm considering and I found it on Amazon at like $70 less than what it's going for at Nordstrom and um, Steve Madden's actual website. So I definitely consider Googling the name of your shoes or anything else for that matter. That's something I love doing when shopping. That's another way to discover different websites because if they carry the product of a brand that you already love and trust, then you know that you're gonna get quality products. So that's a pro tip for you. Next up are these black booties that I picked up from Marshalls, but these are by Zara. I absolutely love these. It was definitely a love at first sight situation. As you can tell, it has like some like studded details all around the base. And I really do like the shape of it. I feel like this is really like a dressy pair of booties. I do have, you know, multiple black booties, but these just it's just so different this is definitely not an everyday type of boot but if you're wearing like a midi dress or if you're wearing like a skirt or anything like that or even pants i don't know i just i just prefer to wear booties with shorter things so that you can actually see the shoes instead of wearing them for example with like wide leg pants it would cover everything and you wouldn't be able to enjoy the beauty of the shoe but i really really like this pair I don't know this kind of reminds me of like a cowboy type of heel and i don't have anything like that in my closet so once i saw these at a really great price at marshall's i just had to get them that's another pro tip marshall's and like burlington and like any of those like department stores they tend to have the goods you just have to 
I don't know, you just have to have the patience to like look through certain things. But all in all, I really like these. And I think it's great to have like a pair of booties that is just different than your plain, you know, standard booty that you could actually wear to work. Speaking of going to work, this is a pair that I consider like your standard, like, you know, heeled booties that you could wear to the office. These are by Nine West and I got them last year, actually during the Black Friday sale. It, they were super discounted. So I'm pretty sure that um, the Black Friday sales are carrying into Cyber Monday. So if you are looking for boots, I'll be sure to link some options from Nine West because I think Nine West is one of the shoe brands that are the most comfortable. Like no matter how high the heel height is, there, it's just always comfortable. I don't know what it is, but I love Nine West shoes. I love Nine West boots. So definitely recommend them as a brand all in all. These, as you can see, I've been wearing them for a whole year. They are real leather and there's no scuff or anything on them. So I really like them. I love to go up half a size. So I usually wear eight and a half. When I'm getting any type of like heels or boots, I always go half a size up. So these are a nine and they fit perfectly. I absolutely love them. And I think that this is the perfect pair like to wear to work every day if you, you know, if you wear heels to the office. And these also work great when you're like, if you want to pair them with, um, with jeans, and a blazer is the type of shoe that's really versatile and you can wear for so many different occasions and it's just a classic pair that doesn't have any any bedazzle you know any it doesn't have any accent it doesn't have any detail or anything like that but it's comfortable it's plain you could wear it with everything i know i've been showing a whole lot of black booties but you know as as much as i wear colorful clothes it's definitely easier to have like black or like neutral colored shoes because i'm not gonna have a pair of shoes to go with every outfit right but once you have your your like your neutral colored ones then you can start incorporating more color and speaking of color i really love these burgundy pair that i got a couple years ago it's out of, i got it from a small boutique i don't even know what the brand is oh they're actually mark fisher these are Mark Fisher and I love the gold detail on the side. That is definitely what stood out for me. I saw them on a coworker and I had to ask her where she got them from and I ran to that boutique and got them. That's definitely one thing that I love also when shopping. Go to small boutiques where they carry things that are different. Like I had never seen a boot like that had like some nice detail like that, especially in such a cool color that's perfect for fall. So I definitely recommend it. This one has like more of a, like a thicker, like chunkier heel, which is definitely more comfortable than your standard like stiletto heel. So that's one of the reasons why I love wearing these. These are great for everyday wear. You can, they pair really well with jeans because they're narrow at the ankle. So once you put on your skinny jeans and you zip them up, they actually stay, you know, they stay put inside the boot so i really like this style i have never shopped on the mark fisher website directly but i do see that they have a lot of options there so i'll definitely be um linking some options for you guys but this golden detail it's a plus i really like it and because we get two of everything that we love <laughs> i also have this same pair in black again all of the things that i mentioned about the the burgundy one applied to this i have worn these into the ground they're actually a little scuffed <laughs> in the front but otherwise they have held up they are these are not real leather so once you get like the pleather ones you you you're getting what you're paying for these are definitely like more affordable than your standard like leather boot but something like that that especially if you're gonna wear it on a daily basis it makes sense to get like a better quality one but depending on what your budget is you gotta do what you gotta do right so. i did wear these like almost every day prior to the pandemic so i definitely wore them into the ground and i low-key forgot that i had them because they were at the very bottom of my shoe shelf but i'm definitely gonna bring these out and see if i can get them fixed 
it's always great to go to a cobbler to you know get all your shoes fixed up every once in a while if they need some TLC so um, yeah if you have a cobbler in your area they can replace the heel taps they can even they can do whatever adjustments I know that um, a lot of people love going to them to shorten the heel so if you have some heels like boots or heels or just standard like pumps that have a really high heel that's uncomfortable for you you can take them to a cobbler and have them cut the heel and make it to more you know more comfortable height for you so it's worth trying this is the last one of my short boots but you guys have seen this multiple times because I wore them non-stop when I first got them this is one of those shoes that I never thought that I would be into but I really like the style this one has like a leather detail up front and on the sides here it's like a nylon finish it is absolutely beautiful although it's chunky I don't consider them to be heavy I find them to be quite comfortable I've worn them to walk around a lot and I really like them that video that I mentioned in the beginning about how to style combat boots this is the pair that i was wearing in it so again i'll be sure to link that so you guys can watch it for inspiration on how to style this type of boot if you've never worn like combat types you know lug sole boots before but i never thought that i would like them as much as i do and i wear them i wear them a lot on like casual fridays i wear them over the weekend and i'm actually thinking that this might actually be a good pair for when it's snowing you know when it's snowing you need something that is not gonna get wet and i'm thinking the way the nylon part is i'm hoping that you know the snow wouldn't melt and get into the shoe so I guess I'll report back <laughs> later on in the winter but otherwise I really recommend this style you guys don't like you don't have to like wear them with jeans all the time I love wearing them with like girly pieces I love wearing them with dresses with skirts with shorts all types of things you can even wear them with jeans so like they're definitely very versatile and I think that they can work into a lot of people's wardrobes no matter what your style is so like if you are into them i'll be sure to link a few options for you guys below now let's talk about the knee-high boots so this pair you guys have seen featured on the channel before they are by aldo and the thing that i love about them is the fact that they have this leather detail up front but then there's this suede detail in the back and the the issue that i tend to have with knee-high boots is the fact that there's always like a weird like extra gap because i feel like i don't know they it's either i have really small calves or they make them for people who have wide calves because it, it's just usually i just don't like when it's wide and your legs are like floating in them so i prefer like a tighter fit and these were the closest that i could find to that so they are by aldo like i mentioned and super comfortable the zipper on the inner part doesn't go all the way up it only goes you know halfway but it's still easy to get your foot in once you slide your foot in then you can zip it up easily with no issues those type of boots again are great with anything that would be like knee length like if you're wearing a knee length dress or anything a, a boot like that definitely stands out i love the the contrast with the two different textures and i also love to wear them with jeans if you wear jeans and a blazer like the vibe that you get with jeans and a blazer with sneakers or pumps is completely different than the vibe you get when you finish a look like that with knee-high boots. I really, really like that style. And if I could find something like this in a brown or a tan, I would definitely get it because I wear these boots so much during the winter and they have held up really well there's no scuff or anything on them so that's the beauty of getting boots that are leather yeah the quality holds up more over time so i can see me wearing these for years because it's such a classic style that i don't think it's ever gonna like go out of style and not fit well into my wardrobe so that's something i like to keep in mind when shopping for shoes in general like shoes and bags you kind of want the styles that are not so trendy that they only work for one season 
I definitely have not been shopping a lot for shoes or anything. So it's great to know that what I had from previous seasons, I can still continue to wear them now. Next up are these boots from none other than Nine West, which I absolutely love. So as you can tell, they have like this snake print detail and in it's in this really bright shade of yellow now i know this is not for everybody i don't expect everybody to be comfortable wearing bright yellow pumps but if you're into it i love them i think that i was actually thinking of doing like a video where i show like five different ways to style the yellow boots so if you're considering getting a pair that's like colorful then you know you could have some ideas on how to style them but i mean you can just style them with things that are neutral. Like if you wear nude, you wear black, finishing a neutral look with a colorful boot like that, it's definitely a statement maker. So I really like these boots. Now I must admit when I first got them, I had that issue where the calf circumference was just too wide for my calves. So I actually took them to a cobbler and I believe they charged me like $30. So they went and cut like into the back of the shoe not sure how they did it but they actually fixed it up and now this fits much better than when i originally got it also the heel height is really low for me so this is really comfortable if i wear it to work or something i will stand all day in this and have no issues again it's props i give props to nine west because i don't know what it is that they do but when it comes to comfort it's a1 i have no complaints with their shoes and I have no complaints with their boots. So I'll be sure to link a few options below. I found a website that had like a whole bunch of different colors of this style of boots. Um, there's one that I really like, it's the Paris Texas brand, but the shoes are like 700 plus dollars and we're just not there yet. <laughs> but I did find a similar brand um, what I did like about them is that you could pick the heel height that you wanted. So I'll be sure to link those below. It's the snake print style and it has the really high heel. But if you want a lower heel, you could literally just pick your option. They, it sounds like it's custom made. I'm not even really sure, but I, I am hoping to test out that site, but try it at your own risk. I will be sure to link it below and you guys can check them out. Another really comfortable pair that I have are these boots from none other than Nine West. They are kind of plain, but they do have this like belt looking detail by the ankle and they have a thicker heel. Super comfortable. Like on a scale of one to 10 being the most comfortable, these are a 12. Like so comfortable. I feel like I could run a marathon in them. They are leather and the leather is really soft the heel height i mean i guess because of the fact that it's chunky that adds to the comfort levels this pairs really great with dresses it pairs really great with jeans it literally pairs well with everything in my wardrobe so i definitely recommend nine west boots these are actually still available they come in three different colors um they have them in black they have them in a tan color and they also have them in like um like a like a brown, like a camel type brownish color. So I definitely recommend them. When I looked it up earlier, I saw that the original price was $199, but they have them on sale for $99 for Black Friday. So if you get them during this holiday weekend, you know, there should be some pretty good sales. So I'll be sure to link them below. I highly recommend them if you're looking for a chunky heel boot. I think that this is a good option to have. And I just recommend while you're there, just browse the Nine West site because if you're, if heels tend to be uncomfortable for you, I think Nine West as a brand is definitely a brand that you should consider because they do have the goods and they are comfortable and they can be affordable if you get them on sale. So the last pair that I have are these boots. They are actually by Coach and they are rain boots. But once I saw the pattern, like the animal print pattern, I was just like, this is great. And given the issue that I typically have with the calves not fitting, 
once I notice that they have like a drawstring, like a like adjustable drawstring in the back where you can tighten it and make it fit your calves, I was sold. I actually got these from Macy's. They were on super sale and I've been wearing them for the past, I wanna say two or three winters. So this works great um, when it's snowing, works great when it's raining. I usually, you know, wear them when I have skinny jeans on. The best thing about them is that they have like this fleece detail on the inside. So they are super warm. I really like these and I would love to find another pair. I think it makes such a statement with the fact that, you know, the bottom is black and then the top has like, you know, this really fun pattern. And I don't find it difficult to style. I've worn this with, you know, if you think of, like wearing jeans and any like plain colored sweater it just it just works and you just throw on a coat and you're on about your business like this is what i like with casual pieces like things that you would typically wear when you're dressed down they work really well when they come with a little detail like something different like this would have looked completely different if it was all black but the print definitely makes it stand out and the quality I just feel like this is gonna last a long time. Coach is usually a little up there in price, but when I found these at Macy's, they were on sale. So I always get things on sale because who wants to pay full price when you can not pay full price, <laughs> okay? So I'm always gonna be looking for a, a bargain somewhere, but I really love these boots. So all in all, this was my boot collection. What I feel like I am missing are some brown boots. I don't have anything brown or like a, a camo color. So I am looking to add some of those into my collection this winter. So if I do get a lot of new boots in, then I'll make an updated video. But either way, whatever I get new in, you guys will see them in like my lookbook style of videos that I typically do. So that's all for now thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video be sure to hit the like button and if you enjoy this the contents of this channel i definitely look forward to having you subscribe and becoming a part of the versicolor family so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next week for another one bye guys <laughs>